adults were screaming that pinball games and rock and roll were the destroyers of children's souls. Well, pinball and rock and roll survived, and most of the pinball kids turned out all right. But recently, a similar concern has been raised about another arcade phenomenon. Video games are alive and well and colonizing the planet. For a mere 25 cents or half dollar, the player may contract to do battle with an alien spaceship, gladiators from another galaxy, a brow-beating robot, a killer fish, a ravenous disc, or any other foe that the expanding $5 billion video industry dreams up. This game is defended. It's fairly easy. The only basic object is to kill them before they can wipe out the human race. I like this game because it's exciting. It's one of the most liked games around. It's like a computer. You're challenging it against your own skill. I get the money from my father, you know. He, if I had to more of the money, I would be playing it more. While these kids find the game an exciting addition to their lives, some adults see it as disruptive. I must take a moment to bring us all up to date on PTA's campaign against video games within our community. Ronnie Lamb, president of the Middle Country PTA Council in Long Island, is crusading against the onslaught of video machines in her district. Largely due to the council's efforts, the town of Brookhaven agreed to place a six-month moratorium on the issuance of any more game room permits. Every shopping center has a multitude of stores with a multitude of, of video games in them. So that it's not even just arcades. It's if your child goes down to the corner store to buy a package of loose leaf to do homework. And if they have 50 cents change from the, the money that they went with, they're going, not going to come home with 50 cents because there are three video games in the stationery store. Foosball World contains 16 video games and is one of the PTA Council's primary targets. Tom and Diane LeCicero are the managers and part owners. It gives the kids something to do, like to go bowling or skating or see a movie. This is some place to come to enjoy themselves. We have a letter on our door from a parent who praises the place. This finally is a place for her son to go, and she'd rather see him here than in a, in a bar or behind the school smoking or drinking. Some kids get a little crazy. They go out and they start stealing stuff and coming and dropping in their machines when they comes like a vice, like any other vice. You know, this man's son is a regular customer at Foosball World. At one point, he had a newspaper route. He collected about maybe $175 in advance on that paper route and uh, blew it all. I had to take him away from the paper route because he was, he was collecting from his customers in advance to come play these games. If the parent can, um, can limit their kids in other areas, then they certainly can limit them here. And if they can't limit them in other areas, then they can't expect the game room to be at fault because they don't have the control over the kids that they should have. <laughs> This is a particularly busy night at Foosball World. We saw no smoking and no drinking. We did, however, witness a brief altercation. I think that any place the teenagers congregate uh, and are dealing in a kind of intense competition, there's a potential for violence. Judith Lang is a social worker and family therapist of the Jewish Board of Family and Children's Services and has counseled many young people who play video games. We're a violent society. Our games are violent. That's a part of life. There is a kind of thrill. I've played the games myself. I know that there's, it's kind of thrilling when you hit a spaceship and it explodes on the screen. However, I think for most people, that's a fantasy. That is not reality, and it doesn't get translated into violent behavior. In fact, from my point of view, as a family therapist, that's a discharge of violent feelings in a very non-threatening, non-harmful way. You can blow off steam with a video machine, and I don't think it's going to have any lasting impact. I don't think it teaches violence. These games weren't available. If 
probably wouldn't be able to get your anger out of you. You know, sometimes you got so much anger inside you, you can't, you know, it's either that, or you probably get in a fight or something. I can't, I can't explain it really. Before I started playing these games, I was outside, you know, my friends playing ball after school. Now after school, I play these games. It gives me something more to do. These games uh, have been keeping me going for the past, I say, eight, nine years. Uh, if not, I'd probably be doing, uh, I don't know, sleeping in bed, studying, things like that, and keeping with attention. Who's for the games? I don't think I'd be so sane right now. I ain't got really nothing else to do.